guys, what's up? Stuart here from Stuart's Tarantulas again. Uh, I just thought I'd do a quick video just showing you my uh, mature female uh, Asian fawn or Kiliobrachius wahini. She has um, delivered a little package this morning and I just thought I would share this with all the beginner tarantulas out there. I'll give you some footage quickly of what, what has happened this morning that I discovered when I um, looked in her enclosure. Uh, it literally happened a couple of hours ago. I just thought this this um, process would be interesting for you to see. Um, this is a Kiliobrachius wahini, the, the Asian fawn. She's a mature female. Um, she's just started laying eggs, and I thought I'd capture it, capture some a uh, few minutes of footage of her with her um, with her just delivering the eggs and and the sort of process that these spiders go through, or spiders go through when they lay eggs and. Uh, creating an egg sac. So to all the beginners out there, I hope this is insightful. Have a watch, drop drop some comments what your thoughts are, if you've had similar experiences or if you've had anything like this happen before. Uh, it'd be very interesting to hear. I'll obviously come back to you on all your comments and all your uh, questions that you may have. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, please, if I can ask you to like the video, share it, uh, subscribe to my channel, smash the bell notification icon for more videos. I appreciate the support, guys. So enough of me talking. Let's get into this quick video showing my Kiliobrachus wahini or the Asian fawn tarantula. Enjoy. So guys, here's my Asian fawn or my Kiliobrachus wahini, my mature female that has just decided to drop some eggs. As you can see, if I zoom in, all those yellow round balls are actually eggs. The female has laid that whole silken mat, as you can see there. And all of those yellow things are eggs. And before, prior to this, she was so plump, I actually thought she was ready to molt. But the conditions that I'm keeping her, her in obviously optimal um you can see she's got she's got um, a nice tunnel that she's made the conditions are, are actually optimal because this species from what i've learned the kilobrachius wahini just doesn't drop egg sacs for the sake of it they drop egg sacs or eggs i should say they deliver eggs when when the conditions are, are optimal so optimal in this in this condition what i can see is the temperature range in my tarantula room during the night and during the day ranges from 22 to around about 26 degrees during the day and in this enclosure there is a relatively high humidity so she's obviously um in a in a condition where she feels that it's it's ready for delivering eggs so as you can see she has delivered or laid i don't know what the correct word is she's delivered these eggs and I just thought I'd capture this quickly because she hasn't wrapped it in an egg sac yet. And I just thought it was a unique opportunity to see spider eggs out once the female has um, put them down. So from here, she is supposed to start wrapping them with silk, which you can see she's actually starting now. She's got to wrap them in silk and create what we call an egg sac. So as you can see, she's busy preparing to silk around them um unfortunately i think this egg sac is going to be what we call a phantom sac or an infertile egg sac because i have not pre i have not paired her um as you can see she is wrapping starting to wrap it in silk and but as you can see her abdomen i promise you it was double that size you can see how narrowed it is now it was swollen it was almost double the size of her cephalothorax at the top there but as you can see she's starting to web up and she's going to web up these eggs and create a round egg sac but i'm 99.9 percent .9 assured that all these eggs are infertile because she hasn't been i have not paired her but it just shows if you keep your spiders in optimal conditions they as females feel it's ready to deliver eggs then i must be doing something right that she is very happy and her 
enclosure and her habit so this is something unique i believe and hence why i'm doing this video to actually show people what spider eggs look like um, especially in an old world species like a Kiliobrachius, uh, this being the Kiliobrachius wahini, the Asian fawn. So I won't disturb it too much. I just thought I'd show showcase a quick video with her, um, re, you know, literally within the last hour or two, she has laid these eggs. So I just, I caught her just in time just to show you and she is busy going to wrap these eggs up in a, in a silken sack. But unfortunately, they are going to be um, infertile. It is a phantom sack. So I will just keep her happy. Um, probably leave her with the sack. And and just keep her fed up and whatnot um, after this. But as you can see, her spinnerets are at work. You can see the thick silken sack she's delivered the egg sack on. And now she's starting to... Um, lay down some silk so this will take some time to wrap this up and then she'll have a round a round little ball full of eggs in her egg sack so guys I, I just thought for all the keepers out there and people that are starting to breed this is what you can expect in how your female of any tarantula for that matter would deliver its egg sack uh, its eggs and then this is how it wraps its eggs eggs up. As you can see, her spinnerets are going, are going around and around the eggs. And she, this is one spider, well, actually any tarantula, when she, when they lay the eggs, they will be super defensive, um, like any mother would be over their child in protecting their eggs. So in this case, I will not disturb it too much. Um, but I just wanted to get this video footage for everyone to have a look at just to show you how many eggs a tarantula can lay number one and number two she'll be so defensive if I try to approach her or disturb her but um, I will not do that and once she's got that egg sack this will be one super defensive tarantula um, I've had this happen to me as well with my uh, with my Brazilian giant blonde as well delivered an egg sack which is un unfortunately a phantom sack as well I had not paired her but the conditions in that cage were or in the environment were obviously optimal but there we go guys that is I'll leave I'll leave it to it um, and you can uh, leave us a comment drop us uh, a comment what you think if you've had this happen with your tarantula before uh, any of your females delivering egg sacs, which are fertile or in or infertile. Um, unfortunately, these won't be won't be fertile, so um, this will be an infertile or a phantom sac. But there we go, guys. I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the Asian fawn, the Kiliobrachus wahini, my female, to carry on with her with her thing and carry on wrapping her eggs, which she's doing. So now a few hours have passed and. The Asian fawn in this picture, as you can see, she's now wrapped silk, woven silk over her, over her eggs that she's uh, dropped. And it's, it's in a process now that she's wrapped them up and then she's going to sort of roll them or tie them into what we call an egg sack, which you'll see in the, in the next picture. Um, here's a back view of her protecting the folded over egg sack and she's guarding it in a very defensive manner and tarantulas will keep this position for days and weeks on end until the eggs are eggs are ready and this next picture is a front view of the Kilobrachus wahini the asian fawn protecting her egg sac so i'll i'll leave it with her for a few days and um, feed her and uh, eventually i'll have to pull the sac from her because it's a a phantom or infertile sac so yeah unfortunately it's not a fertile sac but there we go guys the asian fawn or the kiliobrachius wahi so that'll do it for this one guys so what did you think uh have you had any experiences of phantom sacs or uh infertile egg sacs being laid it had it does happen unfortunately in the hobby or in the you know with tarantulas uh from time to time it does happen uh, I'm not, I, I haven't bred, so I've inherited 
spiders uh, like this and they store the male sperm up somehow and then in favorable conditions they will only drop an egg sac. So the the killer brachius wahini, the Asian fawn, has uh, molted previously so that's why I knew it was an infertile sac to start with because as soon as a tarantula molts even if it you know especially if it's mated that'll make the egg sac that she's producing infertile so that's why I knew um, even if it was a spider I previously got from someone else uh, if it was mated I know for a fact that she's molted at least two two times already and uh yeah, it's 100% confirmed that it's an infertile sac because you just can't get fertile eggs for after a tarantula is molted. So yeah, drop us a comment if you um, found this interesting, if uh, anything you'd like to add, or if you had a similar experience, I'd like to hear from you. That would be great. So look out for my next video, guys. I'm working on a couple of um, interesting videos coming forward, going forward, I should say. Look out for them on my channel. I appreciate your support. Uh, I thank you for watching and subscribe. I'd love it if you'd subscribe, like the, like the video, share the video. Um, yeah. And uh, until the next one, guys, I shall see you soon. And always remember, love your spider. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out of here.